I'm Brian Fisher from the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco, and welcome to the Madagascar Biodiversity Center, the Academy's partner in Madagascar. And today, we will tour the Edible Insect Lab that just opened this week after two years of construction. Our team at the Madagascar Biodiversity Center has, over the last two decades, surveyed the insects over the remaining forests across the island. Along the way, we've discovered thousands of new species, but we've also learned and watched the remaining forest quickly disappear. And we've learned that you can't protect forest when those living nearby are hungry. To reverse this spiral of increasing malnutrition, climate-driven food insecurity, increasing forest loss, we offer a solution that builds on the strong tradition of eating insects. Insects offer many advantages over traditional protein sources. You can farm them with less water, less feed, and there's less of an impact on the environment. Especially in Madagascar, where you can't put more cows on already degraded landscapes like grasslands, and you can't continue to cut down forest when only 10% of it remains. Our new edible insect lab is dedicated to creating and testing insect-based food products that will take advantage of the superior farming properties and high vitamin and protein content of insects. If we develop a local and sustainable insect protein solution, we can address malnutrition and offer the growing population of Madagascar food security, while at the same time, lessening the impact on the environment. And by using insect fertilizer, we can also help regenerate and restore landscapes. Please join me and meet the talented Malagasian African scientists and students making insect protein the solution for Madagascar. Our vision is to make MBC a center of excellence for research, not only in Madagascar, but in the world. So we are providing everything here so that brilliant Malagasy students no longer need to, to go abroad to do their PhD or their master's thesis. So for instance, we now have expertise on modeling and statistical analysis, which was crucially missing here in Madagascar. But our main asset is that we have a centralized structure where science lies at the heart of every program. So scientific research addresses concrete problems such as conservation or malnutrition that are posed by the applied department at the center. As you know, Madagascar is, has an exceptional biodiversity. With MBC and the research program that we are developing here, we now have all the ingredients to train and produce exceptional researchers who publish exceptional research that lies at the frontiers of knowledge. the farm manager. I lead the improvement of the protocol of the farming for three years. The experience that we have gained allow us to move to the larger farm, which has three floors with 600 square meters each. It is a place where we are going to produce more crickets in an optimal environment with a controlled parameters. Apart from that, Nothing is lost when we are talking about cricket. At the end of their life cycle, we collected the cricket frost, which can be used as organic fertilizer. For the conservation, we use a biodegradable bag.
My name is Sarah Henley Magara, a Kenyan by origin. My responsibility in this institution is to develop a diet for the crickets. In Madagascar, cricket farming is faced by a challenge of the suitable feed which can be used to farm them. And in this case, farmers have opted to use other livestock feed which are expensive and unsustainable. Therefore, here we have embarked to assess various uh, weeds which are locally available to develop the recipe of the crickets. From the assessed weeds, we have seen a promising result and we are hoping in the near future we are going to have a recipe for the crickets which is going to be recommended to the farmers to use it. I'm Arena. I'm the process manager here and I've worked for three years in developing protocols to create insect-based superfood. At the beginning, we processed the fresh insects with experimental materials, but as our production is upscaling, we started using uh, high-performance equipment. We do several experimentations in order to improve our um, quality and the diversity of our final products. Thank you for joining the tour of our Edible Insect Lab. Our Edible Insect Research touches on some of the most pressing issues of society. It addresses malnutrition, developing a circular economy, sustainable food systems, reducing bushmeat consumption, restoring landscapes. Our research also is part of developing the next generation of the best scientists in Madagascar. This is a project driven by the needs of Madagascar by scientists from Madagascar and Africa. I welcome you to join our effort and be open to the possibility of an insect protein food system. Thank you.